Five strikers Manchester United could actually sign this summer after Eric Ten Hag admission Eric Ten Hag says Man United will scout for another attacker this summer and there are several realistic options to consider Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that Manchester United will be searching for a striker this summer. With Anthony Marshall due to leave at the end of his contract United will be left with one natural centre forward, Rasmus Hodgland, upon the Frenchman's exit and so will need backup. Marcus Rashford can play as a striker when needed albeit has been largely ineffective when asked Ahmad arrived at Old Trafford as a central striker but has been morphed into a right-sided winger and anyway could be leaving this summer given his lack of game time. Since returning from long-term injury in January having spent £72 million on Hodgland last summer, and with Sir Jim Ratcliffe having to balance Premier League profit and sustainability rules, it's unlikely United will spend frivolously on another. Attacker Serho Garassi Serho Garassi has been linked with Manchester United probably the most likely target on the list. Garassi is an appealing prospect. He has 26 goals in 23 matches this season and is the reason why Stuttgart are on course for Champions League qualification. Several reports mooted that United had sounded out an interest in January and no wonder. The attacker is thought to have a £15 million release clause in his contract. Garassi has been very open about a move to England too. I cannot hide these things, everyone knows the Premier League is one of the most competitive leagues in the world, he said in November. But at this time I don't close any doors. There are some very big teams in Europe and it's not focused only on the Premier League. Those comments will only invite more interest in the Guinea star, who turned 28 last month. United might be in for some competition and without Champions League football will be in a worse negotiation position Jonathan. David of Lille David is enjoying a fruitful season with Lille, netting 23 goals in 40 matches and is only behind Kylian Mbappe in the League One scorers chart. The Canada international doesn't turn 25 until next January and so is perhaps not yet at his peak Lille are understood to want around £50 million for the attacker but if United can barter the price below £40 million for a player who will soon be entering the final year of his contract, then it might be a worthwhile gamble. The positive in such a deal is that David would challenge Hodgland for a spot rather than merely settle for second fiddle. The sticking point may be Arsenal, who have been linked with David and could perhaps offer more game time, albeit Mikel Arteta is considered to be leaning towards a more versatile attacker Lois Openda Belgian International Openda, has been a bright spark for RB Leipzig this season, scoring 25 goals in 39 matches across all competitions. He has netted against Bayer Leverkusen, Bayern Munich and Manchester. City this term so is not one to shirk a big game Diogo Dalit, it's a fact. Diogo Dalit contradicts Man United manager Eric Ten Hag and admits to major problem shoppers snapping up nifty, garden storage solution for £40, cheaper than Amazon, B&Q and the range shoppers rush to buy brilliant, £40 garden storage solution as price drops below B&Q and the range, I want to be a top player. I want to play for the best teams in the world, he told The Athletic in January. Perhaps encouraging for United to hear the concern is his current physique. The 24-year-old boasts a slender figure and questions would be asked about his robustness in the rough-and-tumble Premier League. That said, he's been injury-free all season and has bags of pace, as seen against Man City contracted until 2028. Openda would not come cheap, though, nor would he settle for being a bit part player in the long run. He is three years older than Hodgland and has more Champions League experience. Some convincing would.
need to take place Dominic Solank there are several things to say about a possible Solank approach. Having previously played for Liverpool, the player may be tentative, albeit a move to United would be hard for someone in his position to turn down there is also a danger of recency bias. His 16 Premier League goals in 31 matches is a healthy return but this is the first time he has tallied double figures in a top-flight campaign but the question perhaps should be asked, should such numbers be expected from a striker who would play a rotational role? Does he even want to play a rotational role? At 26, Solank might not wish to settle for second best at a club however. United do need a second striker and it's not like they haven't purchased ex-Liverpool players before. Solank may not be high on the list, but he is an affordable option at circa £30 million if other ventures fail. The bright lights of Old Trafford may be too much for the attacker to resist, ultimately. Man United Chiefs given Eric Ten Hag sack message midway through Bournemouth clash Manchester United fans took to social media to vent their frustrations at Eric Ten Hag during Saturday's match against Bournemouth who led 2-1 at the halftime break furious Manchester United fans called on the board to sack Eric Ten Hag on social media during their 2-2 draw against Bournemouth on Saturday evening. The beleaguered Dutchman has endured a torrid second season at the helm with United lagging well. Behind their rivals at the Premier League summit, and the arrival of Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos has only heightened the pressure on him given they are now the ones calling the shots. At Old Trafford, with United trailing 2-1 against Bournemouth on the cusp of halftime at the Vitality Stadium, Ten Hag cut a forlorn figure on the touchline, and disgruntled fans wasted no time in calling for his head online. Point one fan posted bluntly, sack Ten Hag now, while another raged, if we don't win this game, Ten Hag has to go. Others posted with the hashtag hashtag Ten Hag out throughout the match. Andre Onana reveals his stance with Man United players. Split over Eric Ten Hag future although United trailed at the break, Ten Hag's men rallied to take a point back to Manchester. Captain Bruno Fernandes, who scored in the first half restored parity again from the penalty spot in the 65th minute dot a draw is unlikely to do United any favours. In their bid to secure European football for next season, though, and the South Coast stalemate means they end the day in seventh place. While Ineos and Ratcliffe have remained tight-lipped over Ten Hag's future, Recent reports have indicated that the former Ajax chief is currently being included in plans for next season. Join the debate. Do you think Ten Hag is still the right man for Man United? Let us know here. It remains to be seen, though, whether that stance would change if results are poor between now and the end of the season. Plenty of names have been touted as. Potential successors including Gareth Southgate and Graham Potter. Eric Ten Hag storms out of Man United press conference as he ignores nightmare scenario. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag walked out of his press conference after it was pointed out that the club could set an unwanted Premier League record this season Manchester. United manager Eric Ten Hag walks out of a press conference Eric Ten Hag walked out of his post-match press conference after Manchester United's 2-2 draw with Bournemouth Eric Ten Hag refused to comment on the